Hello and welcome today, everybody. It's your boy Skirt, Skirt, aka Revitalized Kicks. Shout out to the RKG, the Revitalized Kicks gang, man. Y'all know what time it is. Today we are lit. I always say we lit. Is we really lit, man? I don't know. But today we. Wait, what? We are lit. All right, so today I'm going to be talking to y'all about reselling shoes and how to make money. Today we were recording in 4K. I got this camera. I never use a 4K function because it takes up a lot of storage. But today we're shooting a 4K, baby. So anyways, um, before we start talking about how to resell shoes and stuff like that, how to make money, and it's not clickbait. I'm going to tell y'all what I have to tell y'all and what you need to hear because nobody else will tell you it. And I'm telling you straight facts, no cap. So anyways, let's... um open my packages first let me show y'all what i got um where's my knife i got an unboxing knife a black one but um i took it to my girlfriend's house and i don't know where it's at now but anyways ah, let's open the first package here so um let me talk to y'all so if you got me on snapchat which i stopped promoting my snapchat on here because um i just wasn't feeling it um, with a lot of people I don't know like I always wanted to be like yo I want everybody to have me here but my snapchat was getting like no cap and I'm not even trying to lie I'm not trying to be cool or nothing like it was a point when my snapchat was crazy like to me from what it because it had grew so quick um I was getting like on average 700 views easily like easily 700 views but I stopped posting on it because it was weird having a lot of people on it so that's all a rant. But if you don't got me on Snapchat, um, it's girl underscore trailer if you want to add me. I'm not adding anybody back. I used to add everybody, and it was just weird with people you don't know. Like, Snapchat is the only thing I want personal. But follow me on Instagram, it's girl underscore trilly. So we got the easy slides right here. Go ahead, take them out. I haven't looked at them. I just unboxed them. So um, as far as reselling, we're going to talk as we go. These shoes I got for myself. So reselling. So um, first, let me tell you this. When you're reselling shoes, there's things that people won't tell you, can't tell you, and you just gotta figure out yourself. So uh, one important um, thing with reselling is try to get a friend, try to get somebody you can talk to, whether it's a person that you know that is actually into what you do, whether it's somebody online and stuff like that. So when it comes to reselling shoes, me and my friend, um, Mr. KOF, y'all know, he be in a few videos. So him, me and him, I was telling him like, bro, so it all started whoa these shoes are way bigger than i thought i'm talking as i go but yo these junks are huge these junks are thick and they feel like mad foamy nah these joints is cool though but these joints is type ugly but they fire they so ugly that they're fired they look like hospital slides but um so anyways me and my boy mr kof so how it started i told it a few times i told y'all i wanted to resell shoes so i was like yo bro I want these satin um, Jordan 1s. You think I could get them? I was like, nah, I ain't going for them. And then he told me this. He said, yo, I won the off-white Prestos. If I could win those, then anybody could win anything. Which is a fact. On Nike sneakers, I entered the raffle. One, I got a vlog on it. Entered on a few devices. I won a pair, you know. And I showed the vlog. I got the shoes. Went to the mall. Flipped them, made eight hundred dollars. StockX that was going for one thousand two hundred. I made eight hundred dollars, paid one seventy two eighty after tax, I believe, because they were one sixty. Yo, that flip game was crazy. That was like over five hundred dollars um, of a flip. So imagine spending one something and making eight hundred dollars, bro. Like that's crazy. Reselling shoes, you can do this. Reselling shoes, you can make even more than that. So um. Let me open this too. So what I'm trying to say is when you're reselling shoes, right? My little brother's in the background while I'm playing the game. But um, when you're reselling shoes, people don't want to tell you things like, I get shoes, right? I know when almost everything is releasing. I will tell you, I know when almost everything is releasing. Number one, knowing is a big thing. Knowing when something is going to release where it's going to release and how it's going to release is it going to be a raffle is it going to be a shock drop is it going to be at this site is it going to actually be at this on the site like the travis got six um yeah the sixes so i i knew that they were dropping like everyone knew but nobody knew it was shop that aj6 aj6 dot shop travis scott.com or something like that so we were on the site but we didn't know and then by the time we knew everything was sold out so you get what i'm saying we was there, but we wasn't on the right site. So now I'm in a group where 
I almost stabbed myself. I'm in a group where it's a whole bunch of people and everybody in the group, all they do is talk about shoes. All they do is talk about how to buy shoes, where to buy shoes, if they got the shoes, if they're selling the shoes and stuff like that. So what I'm saying is, like I said, you need connections. Talk to somebody. They know stuff I don't know. I might know something they don't know. So it's a group. I'm not going to tell you how to group. And that's another thing because like, so... In this sneaker reselling world, there's people that will tell you things and there's people that won't. And then there's things that somebody will tell you, but they won't tell you everything. Like, this is the beginner guide. I can tell you what you got to do to resell shoes. And you're probably like, bro, he just saying a bunch of BS, bro. He ain't really saying nothing. What size is this? U.S. size unisex. I don't, oh, a size 9. These ones ain't for me. Those ones resell. Post Malone um, Crocs I bought to resell. Um, but... So yeah, um, I'm in a group. We all know and stuff like that, and we know when stuff is dropping. We um, everybody in there buys stuff for the personal or to sell. So what I'm saying is, if you get in a group like that, it's a group. There's a whole bunch of them, bro. Not just the one I'm in. So I know when everything's gonna drop. But like Supreme, so I know everybody knows when Supreme is gonna drop. But it's hard to get the actual box logos because they sell out so fast. What you need is bots. I'm not in the bots yet. But I know somebody who has bots that I was talking to through connecting. So what you got to do, honestly, is network. If you want to sell shoes, bro, I'm telling you, you should network. You get to know people. That's the biggest thing. You know him, he might help you get this shoe. If you got a shoe that he wanted, you might help him get that shoe. Yeah, I might be able to trade. I might be able to work together, meet up one day. You never know. It could be somebody in Antarctica. It don't matter. I'm telling you, this is like the tips and tricks. And you're probably like, bro, I want to make money. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about money. So me, I started, I had $3,000 to spend and make money. Now, me, I don't want to go under $1,000 because that means, whoa. So basically, the other last month, I was down $2,000. I will tell you, no cap. I was down $2,000 because I was just buying every shoe to sell. Now, after that, I'm like, yo, I go to my local store to um sell shoes, but they started acting funny. Like, uh, yo, they always trying to lowball you, bro. But that's what you expect when you go to stores. Unless you're going like round two, they might offer you better. Which I went to the store. I tried to sell the um the the Jordan ones, the Obsidian junks. They like, oh, we give you this. Wasn't that good. Went to round two. They offered me three something. That store I was trying to sell to was trying to give me like 240. Bro, they're going for three something, bro. How am I going to sell them to you for this low? And then I went to round two and they offered me way higher. So, you know, it depends. Like, and where I'm at, it's not a good spot to like be selling shoes like to people. Because like New York City, that's a great spot. I live outside New York like two hours. But if you live in New York City, you can sell a shoe, bro. There's just too many people. People have money. Where I'm at, people don't just have money to spend. So what I did was finally, he's wild. And I finally went on StockX. Once I went on StockX, um, I sold, what was the first thing I sold? I can't even remember anymore. But I sold the shoe on StockX, shipped it out just to check. And I had a whole bunch of shoes because I spent $2,000. Shipped it, um, shipped the shoe. Stock X sent me my money. No lie, the next day. Um, I'm not. I'm not sponsored by Stock X. I don't work with Stock X. Nothing like that at all. I'm not capping none of that, bro. But Stock X is a great spot for me. This is my experience with Stock X. I sell on Stock X now. It's just quicker. They take a fee. That's the only annoying part. So, you know, if you can <coughs> sell to somebody you know, it's always better. So sell to somebody you know if you can or somebody who is willing to pay like that or offer around the same amount. So I sold on StockX. Next day you get the money with StockX. Usually you get your money within 24 hours. Longest is probably like 48 hours because now their shipping is faster. It gets to them. They verify. They get it to the person all within like a week now. So I sent it to StockX. Boom. Got my money the next day. I'm down $2,000. Once I realized I get my money that fast from StockX, I had 2K LeBrons, the exclusive ones, the all purple ones. You can't get them unless you went crazy in 2K. And I ain't gonna lie, I was feeding when the game first came out. I go crazy, bro. I'm My memory card was full, so I switched it. And I feel like I'm talking too much. So let me get straight into the grain. So I think I was talking about the LeBrons. I was beasting, got the LeBrons, shipped them, sold them. Now, um, StockX does this thing where they got 50% off seller fees. That's something I recommend. If you can, wait. Um, like, I bought these Post Malone Crocs. I had a feeling they might flop. 
Um, the other two Post Malone socks are going for around $200, $190. These Crocs, $60, bro. Um, so, it's not that bad. I bought four pairs, one pair for me, three pair to sell. So, let's say I got these Crocs, right? Right now, they're going for like $80. $80, $70, some pair. Um, I got four pair. And so, if they're going for $80, and if I sell on StockX right now, StockX is going to take a seller fee. My seller fee is a little lower because I sold more, but it's still going to take a seller fee, which is going to be like $10. If they're going for $80, I paid $60 plus shipping, um, then I sell for $80, StockX is going to offer me maybe $68 after I sell them. That's exactly how much money I'll get. I made, <coughs> oh my goodness, what, three, four dollars? I could do that right now, make three, four dollars. Three, four dollars is better than no dollars. Always remember that. But a big thing with this reselling is patience, which is something that I'm learning to have more of. So these Crocs, I'm gonna sit on my three pair for a whole year, unless I get somebody right now to offer me like what I paid, I'll just get my money back because I can invest it into something else. But I will wait a whole year or I'll wait seven months. I'll wait however long I got to wait for these Crocs to end up being $200, $150, or at least $100 because the seller fee, I'll still be making like $20, $30 after. So the thing is, you just got to be smart. You got to know what you're investing in. And um, if you're just starting off and you don't really want to risk losing any money, what I recommend is going for things you know are going to sell. A Travis Scott shoe, I don't care what it is. If it's Travis Scott, and this is a shoe with like Nike or Jordan, it's gonna sell. So investing in that, great. Off white, for the most part, the off white Jordans gonna sell. Um, for the most part, the off white Nikes. Um, the ones with the spikes on them, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't buy none because I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to wait on those. Um, they're not that good to me. I didn't think it was good cop. So. The main thing with reselling is know people, network, talk to people. Like I said, I'm in a group. We talk to each other. There's a whole bunch of people in the group. There's groups everywhere, bro. Just start searching, bro. If you if you want it, go get it. You know what I mean? I'm teaching. I'm bringing you to a spot where there's three path. Where there's no no. Let's say I'm bringing you to a spot where there's a path. I'm like, yo, I got my stuff from down there. You know. Now it's your job to figure out how to go ten miles on the path with no car or a hundred miles with no car if you get what I'm saying like I'm leading you to the water but I didn't give you a cup to drink you can use your hands you can do whatever you got to do you get what I'm saying so I just want to give you out a basic so making money yeah I was down two thousand dollars so my 2k LeBron's had them for like two months um had damn I'm forgetting what I sold 2k LeBron's um what else did I have god dang uh jordan once i got the shattered back boys that's another thing i was down two thousand dollars now i'm probably down a hundred two hundred dollars maybe but i got two hundred dollars worth of kanye merch right here so if i sell that right now which nobody's buying it for the price so it might be a low-key l i might keep one of the shirts so if i sell that stuff right now i can make my money back and i'll be even but what you want to do is make money you got to learn um to say no i don't need this shoe I don't have to have this shoe, the Nike SB Blazers, I still got um, the Shattered Backboards, still got those, um, Post Malone Crocs, I'm going to keep those because they're only a couple dollars, Yeezy Slides, I'm going to keep these, $50, $55 or something, like you got to learn what to keep, what not to keep, so as far as reselling shoes, how to make money, you just got to be smart, invest smart, learn things, I'll tell you right now, um, I'll tell you this. Go ahead, if you want to learn how to sell shoes, how to get in the shoes, um, a good start as to knowing when stuff is going to drop, follow Soul Links. And I will tell you that because Soul Links is the bare minimum of what you're going to need. Follow them on Instagram. It's Soul Links. Um, it's just Soul Links. I'll pop it up on the screen. But if you follow them, they drop stuff, tell you when it's dropping, but sometimes they're a little late. The group I'm in might tell me two or three minutes before. Two or three, three, two or three minutes in the sneaker selling world is way too much time lost but i have cop shoes from just so links posting so like you just got to know who to follow when to follow so it's not necessarily like oh my god you're gonna be rich overnight no you gotta be smart you gotta invest like like i said i got these crocs these are gonna go up in price i promise you that i'm gonna wait a year you might not have a year to wait invest in something smart that's the best thing i could tell you if you're just starting invest in something smart a satin shoe coming out satin jordan one 
invest. It's going to sell. Um, certain shoes like the Brad 11s just dropped. They're not selling. That's a shoe I would say invest in to sell. But for some reason, people not really paying resale for the bread. So don't go for them. But it's crazy. Like, how are you not paying resale for the breads? They're going, what, $60 over? Like, bro, people are people are crazy and insane. But, like, you just got to know what to invest in, how to invest in it, and stuff like that. But check out these slides. I'm going to show you all these on feet. I'm going to end this video. I want to do a follow-up video where I tell you all a little more. Because, like I said, I told you all to be a minimum. I can't give you all the tips and tricks you need. But I can tell you some things. It's more about who you know more than... It's more about who you know and what you know rather than just, oh, I could do this, you know, if that makes sense. So, like, more who you know even than what you know because I know when stuff drops, but I don't know who to talk to to get the shoe. But now I do because when did I start? Um, What was that? August or early September? That's when I started. Now it's December. It's been like four months. And now... My money is exactly where I started, and I still got some stuff to sell. But I'm about to invest in these off-white dunks. If you're watching this, go for the off-white dunks. I guarantee you that's a flip. At least, you're at least selling the shoe for $400. At least, and I don't think it's touching that low. Maybe the red and gray pair, but you're selling them for more than that. Just be smart as far as, like, um, investing in shoes and making money, bro. Go for the off-white dunks. That's what I can tell you. Just go on the sneakers app. Um, but sneakers app is basically, like, impossible to win. I won... Maybe seven, eight shoes on sneakers, but that's me. But that's my story. But anyways, I want to do a follow-up video where I actually write stuff because I like freestyle this. And um, but I want to do a video where I actually give y'all some sauce, and you know, I teach y'all some real tricks, some real tips, and it's only on how to make money selling shoes. So maybe I'll do that in the future where it's gonna be like strictly like this is how you make money, and I'm not gonna cap, but remember, it's more about who you know, how you know, networking. Those are the three most important things. Don't worry about the money, the money comes later, but once you start knowing things, you got it, you're good. But thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, I'm out, peace. Drizzy is hot as fuck.